When hurt Jan Oskam was paralyzed in an accident, doctors told him he would never walk again. But now he can, just using his thoughts. To walk, Oskam just has to think about walking and a device will send messages from his brain to his spinal cord which controls the movement in his legs. Oskam had surgery to insert the implants in his brain and spinal cord. The brain implants read his brain signals and send them to a computer he wears in a backpack that decodes them. The computer then sends those signals to his spinal implant, stimulating nerves in his spinal cord which instructs his legs to move. To walk, the brain must send a command to the region of the spinal cord responsible for the control of movement. When there is a spinal cord injury, this communication is interrupted. Our idea was to re-establish this communication. So when everything is installed, the patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals, and we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. But this is pretty short. In a few sessions, everything is linked and the patient starts training. The most surprising thing, I think, happened after two days. Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, hips. The technology is known as a digital bridge, and while Oscom's walking speed isn't particularly fast at the moment, the researchers behind it believe the device is just the beginning. Next, they're working on using the same technology to restore movement to people's arms and hands. Plus, after having used the technology, Oscom is now able to move his legs and feet even when the device is turned off, which means it's helping new nerve connections develop. It was uh, a long journey, but uh, at the end, I can really build uh, functional things from it. 